How long have you lived here in Iowa? Uh, Six years. Six years? In the same house? Wow. You married? Single? Where'd you move from? Is that county? And how long were you up there for? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> You're that. You know, to be honest with you, if I was sitting over there, I'd be a little nervous too. So don't don't worry about it. We're just here to talk, to get your side. And right now we're just asking you just two quick questions. I can only lived here, that kind of thing. I so. watched too many detective movies. <laughs> how yeah. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> Me too. You can't, honestly, I, I sit there and I'm married and I sit there and watch those with my wife and I say, that, like, we don't, that's not how we do it. Hey, that's not right. So don't take, there's some good ones out there, don't get me wrong. But most of them are, are probably a little off base. We're not as mean. I won't get up and beat you up. We don't do that. We just want to get to know you a little. So if you just kind of want to share a little about yourself and what brought you down here and. So I trust my attorney. He said, don't say anything. And I said, I have nothing to hide. And he's like, I know that. But just let me be there with you when we talk. So uh, uh, you guys seem nice people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not trying to be difficult. This is really, if you knew all the pieces, I think you'd have a lot of empathy for well, what's going on. That's and really what we're looking That's what we're looking for. And you're an adult. and. The thing about our interview, if we ask you any questions that you don't want to answer, you can just tell us, I don't want to answer that question. But we do want to have a basis and an understanding of what's going on in that home or what went on up north that brought them into your home. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to share any of that and you don't want to answer any other questions, that's okay. I, I'd like to just tell you. But I don't, I don't know who you are. I don't know if you're going to flip my words. I, I don't know. And that's the good thing about cameras. Everything, it's pretty much double recorded, audio, video. And it's for the safety of for you and for us because we don't want to flip your words. And this will all be pretty much right there to support you. So we're not going to use anything attorney against you. be so insistent then. He's an honest, good man. goes to church. I trust him. Why would he say that to me then? I don't know. I don't, I don't know your attorney. Be honest. Well, I'm just but saying he's he's a he's, he's a good, good honest man. Yeah, I don't and know. I'm an honest person as well, so we get along great. And he just said, "Do not say anything." Maybe just as an attorney, they just they always say that. They always want to be with their client. I'm not sure, but like I said, at any time, if you don't want to answer a question, you don't have to. So the ball's really in your court on what you do want to answer and what you don't. So. Well, I think it, it looks sad that I don't want to answer anything, but it's not because I'm trying to be difficult. I'm really hanging on what he told me to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who's your attorney? Adam. 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 Uh, his father's an attorney. His brother's an is attorney. He, is he local? Yeah. Is it local? Adam. He's down um, the street of the... Uh, Town Hall is. Oh, all the same name. The whole yeah, reason we're right. sitting here today is we just we there's a lot of questions we have that we just maybe misunderstandings that we just mm -hmm. need to clarify. And I know, and I'd love to tell you if you were here because I don't know, I, I don't I don't know what's going to happen with what I say. You know, I I watched. I'm a psychologist. I've watched people flip things all the time. I get it. I, I, I sit on your side. I get it. I wish people didn't do that, but they do. Well, if you're not willing to answer any of the questions about yourself, would you be willing to answer any questions maybe about Ruby or Kevin that you could help us understand? We just honestly want to understand what what their dynamic is, what happened to the children, what caused their separation. Right. And after talking to Kevin, it sounds like you know a lot about their dynamic mm -hmm. and their relationship. So if you could help us understand that at the least, that would be awesome. And that's nothing incriminating towards yourself because it's not pertaining to you. So if you could help us understand that. Jody, we're we're going to do this. You asked for your attorney, and we'll, we'll leave it at that. We'd like to maybe talk to you later when you have your attorney here present. 
Absolutely. And, he, and we'll go he down there. He made an appointment day. at four she, on he made Friday. An appointment here with at here at four. He talked to the to the officer. Okay. And said, "Can we make a time?" And he said out loud, "Do not talk to them." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll talk and see if we can schedule that, and maybe that's just something we we just do with your children. Okay. Do you have any questions for us? Anything we can answer in the meantime? No. Okay. No. All right. Appreciate your time. We'll uh, we have you hang tight in here, and then we'll come back and get you, and we'll be on our way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.